So my name is Faith Blakemore and I work for Steinbei Svayi GmbH uh, and uh, I am the project manager for uh, InnerWide which is a, a project that we are running as part of the consortium. A new programme that the European Commission has set up um, and they are specifically looking to support European SMEs to internationalise. So this is a fund that's available uh, that SMEs can apply for to help them with the process of co-creating new ideas, new concepts, new products, new services with a partner in an international country outside of the EU. So it's aimed at SMEs, so small to medium enterprises. Um, it can include startups. So if, if there is a startup that's out there that is interested in internationalising already, it is still open to them as well. Uh, but it is generally aimed at the small to medium enterprises, and that's for companies that are under 250 employees. Um, so it, it, it still covers quite a wide range of, of businesses. is a, uh, a project that is looking to support businesses to create what's called a viability assessment project and that is a project where they will start to understand whether the product they want to create, the service that they wanted to deliver is viable in the third country that they have chosen. Um, so it's, it's funding for them for, uh, there's 100% of the project costs that they need to cover, of which 60,000 euros is covered and that's 70% of the costs. So basically the European Commission is going to subsidise to the tune of 70% the costs of the project. Um, so that means that the, the total project cost should be around 86,000. can be more, but it will only be 60,000 that's funded. The first thing they need to do is find a partner in the third country, so they need to pick the country. It could be Brazil, it could be China, it could be America. Um, it can be a, a country that is a developing country, an emerging economy, um, or a fully developed country. So it, it, we're not stating that it has to be a specific area, but they have to find that country and they have to find a partner there. The purpose of this project is to help businesses in Europe to co-create. So it's helping them to find those partners that they can do this work with, they can create some new ideas, create innovation, innovation is a really important part of this, um, and then find a way to work that innovation into that market. How can they be successful in that third country? Um, so the viability assessment project is specifically designed to help them do all of that research, all of that development, all of that work that's needed to know that they can be successful in that other country. Just in Europe, Europe or an associated country, so this is where you get into the political terminology of, of what is a, a European country. Um, so if they are part of the European Union or an associated country, then they can apply uh, for this. Um, so yeah, it, it is con covering all of those areas. They can apply at the moment, the call is open, the first call is open, um, open on the 1st of April and it closes at the end of May, the last working day in May, so it is important that people get their applications in now. Um, there will be a second call which opens at the beginning of December and closes at the end of January, so there will be a second option later on. Uh, but at the moment we're looking uh, to fund up 50 businesses for the first round. Um, and it's a, an application form, it's online, so what I would suggest people do is go and explore the website, um, so that's innerwide.eu, um, go and explore the website, maybe even set up uh, an application form, you can set it up and save it, you do not have to submit it, so you can actually explore what the form looks like and what kind of information you need to give, um, and then start filling it in, but just be aware that the deadline is the end of May. One of the things that I'm really keen to put across is the fact that this is supporting innovation. So 
This is not just about helping businesses to uh, import or export. It, it's more about creating something new. It's creating something different. It's about them reaching the potential that they can reach uh, to be innovative as a, as a company. Um, but the great thing about this programme is it's saying it's not just doing it alone. It's about working with another partner in another country who knows that country, knows the market, knows what will work best, but equally knows the technology and the service themselves as well. So we're really trying to match make people, we're trying to put people together um, and trying to say, you know, here's some money, here's some, some support if you need to be able to do this, this work. It generally is going to support Europe as, a, as an entity itself as well because we want innovation to be developed here and to support the European economy as well.